look at this guys. My rear view mirror has fallen off again. This is the third time it has fallen off. I've tried 3M, Permatex, and Loctite glues, and they all failed within weeks or months under the hot weather. So this time I'm going to try the Gorilla Epoxy, which is rated up to 180 degrees. By the way, I made sure that this glue works on metal, glass, and plastic. Usually I like to park my car in the garage. But right now I got some project going on in the garage, so I keep it outside. And what I suspect is happening is under the hot weather, direct sunlight, with the uh, windshield shade up, all that heat is reflecting back up here. And that's where the, uh, the rear view mirror is. And I think the, uh, the temperature is getting very hot and the glue over perhaps over multiple days of being parked like this, that glue gives up Right now it's one o'clock in the afternoon. The temperature out here is about 88 degrees. So it's uh, 125 degrees. Let me see what it's, 127. Yeah, so it's around 125, 127 degrees here. And uh, the glue is supposed to hold up until 185 degrees here i can feel the leftover glue so i don't want to disturb this uh, black color backing and i'm gonna scrape off this glue carefully and then uh maybe scuff it up a little bit with the sandpaper and then clean it with the uh, alcohol if you don't get this completely clean uh both here and the bracket that's gonna glue on here the glue is not going to hold well. Okay, this is the button that came off the, uh, the windshield. There's still a uh, glue residue that's kind of left in there. It's, it's sticky, actually on both sides. So I'm going to scrape it off. And then I'm going to use a sandpaper. I think this is the 240. I'm going to sand it down so I'm gonna scuff it up a bit then I'm gonna clean it with the alcohol thoroughly uh, with the cotton pads it's under pretty pretty tight so you're gonna have to really scrape it um, I've been at it for a few minutes now and it does come off as you can see okay but be super careful okay so I got most of the glue off of the surface but Make sure to get it off the sides as well, okay? Because that's where the your rear view mirror is gonna slide down, okay? So if you got glue residue in there, it's not gonna slide down easily. And okay, I think I got most of the glue off. I'm gonna wipe it clean with the uh, cotton pad and alcohol. All right. I'm gonna take a sandpaper and don't scuff up the edge here. Okay, that's where the rear view mirror is gonna slide down. So you're just gonna do this uh, button surface. Make sure you got your scuffing up the right side. Um, it's gonna be the, the surface. In my case, uh, you see this uh, little hole marks. That's where the, uh, the little torque screw uh, was you know, tightening into it, and that's where the, the marks are, okay? So my, this side here is the side that's gonna glue to the, the windshield, okay? So don't, don't scuff off this side, you don't need to. So you just wanna get the top surface here. Okay, I think that's enough. And I clean it with the uh, alcohol again. Okay, I think I'm ready to glue this on. Okay, 
Okay, you see that glue coming off? You want to get that off completely. I think I got most of the glue off. Just got to clean any uh, residue that's left. If you notice, there's a, a very tiny three holes. And I think that's the marking where the back bracket metal is going to go. Okay, inside those holes. I'm just going to scuff up that little triangle shape uh, area between three holes. It's real lightly. Okay, I'm gonna use a clean alcohol cotton pad and clean this area. Okay, I think that's clean. All right, I'm gonna prepare the glue. All right, so when you work with this glue, in the outer packaging, it says it sets in five minutes. Now, when you look at the back, when you look at the details, uh, it's not quite that way, okay? It says handling time up to 30 minutes undisturbed. Curing time, 24 hours before you can actually put weight on it. So I'm gonna actually uh, leave it on overnight uh, before I actually put the mirror back in there. Now, let's go look at the uh, instructions. It says, all surface obviously must be clean, dry, free of grease, and etc. And you gotta roughen the smooth surface with sandpaper. You're gonna dispense from the resin and the hardener onto a clean surface, and then you're gonna mix it for about 20 seconds, and then apply it to the surface within five minutes. After that, the bonding strength will decrease the longer you wait. It says to clamp it. Uh, there's no way to clamp this on the window easily. So I'm just gonna use a painter's tape and tape it on there. All right, so get everything ready because you have to move quick. Once you start this, don't touch the surface that you're gonna glue, okay? I got the black cap that I broke off from the middle here because once I squeeze, squeeze this out, I'm gonna plug it back in. So I'm gonna break this off. All right, I'm gonna squeeze. Now you don't need a whole lot, but I just need to get that yellow side to come out a little more. Now I'm gonna wipe that off. I'm gonna plug this, and I'm gonna pull back on the syringe a little bit to relieve the pressure. Okay, so you're supposed to mix it 20 seconds. I think it's mixed pretty well. Okay, I'm gonna apply, uh, I'm gonna try not to get to the edge too much because I don't want it to spill over onto the, the edge that's gonna, where the rear view mirror is gonna slide in. I'll try to leave a, maybe a one eighth inch uh, gap before reaching the, uh, the edge. Okay. Okay, remember, uh, this side is narrow here and the wider side is on the bottom. So you want the wider side on the bottom, okay? Because the mirror is going to slide down uh, from top. All right, um, I don't know how we're going to do this. Okay, so I got it glued on there. Traditional rear view mirror glues, you put it on, on within a second or two it's gonna stay where you put on i mean literally you got like you know maximum maybe like two seconds maybe three seconds but this one it was moving around uh if i i held it up there for about 30 seconds and i let it go and it was uh kind of sliding down so i had to hold it up there probably over a minute until it stabilized and uh cut the tape and put the tape on there so okay i added a little bit more tape uh, so that it's uh it's gonna fold it in place So I made a mistake and uh, didn't hit the record button, so I didn't get the, the reinstallation uh, video. But I've already done this uh, more detailed video on how to uh, uninstall and reinstall a rear view mirror in the previous video. So I'll just show you a little bit of clips from it and I'll add a link to that video uh, in the descriptions. Okay, she's back on. Looks pretty sturdy. 
Um, I'll report back if this falls off again. Hopefully this will last longer. Thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe and like and I'll see you guys next time.